feel simpler to me. Be patient with me. I may need some time to digest your apology. It asks ask the injured person to forgive. <coughs> it lets them know they were wrong and that forgiveness is needed to repair the relationship. Keep in mind that the request for forgiveness is not necessarily, necessarily the grander. And the apology shows that you recognize the need to be forgiven. Whether or not forgiving is, is happening, it's up to the person who is receiving apology. And the fourth one is genuine repentance. Genuine repentance. For example, I will try not to do it again. I want to hear you have decided to change, the, change your behavior, otherwise you are not truly apologized. Making excuses seems insincere. To me, action speaks louder than words. Yeah. It must come from the heart with a promise to change so that the problem won't happen again. And the final one is making restitution. For example, what can I do to make it right? I want to know, do you still love me? Your behavior was so unloving that I wonder how you could love me and do such things. What amends must be made? It involves justifying the wrong and finding a way to make amends. How you make up for it depends on the person. And you have to make up for it in a way the other person values. I think it's probably the most labor intensive apology language. For example, if you say I'm sorry, here is a pair of uh, uh, like pair of uh, like ticket or pair of tickets to the game to someone who prefer cooking to sports, you are not making amends. Instead, here is a pair of tickets to the film of Iron Chef will work much better. Okay. And match their apology language, not yours. Since our primary apology language is how we recognize apology, we tend to give apologies in the same language. After all, if I'm sorry means I will make restitution, we tend to give restitution when we want to apologize. Even if the other person doesn't care about restitution, but does care about hearing us say I was wrong. So, when making apology, use the other person's apology language so that they can hear you. Hear you. If you don't know someone's apology language, try all the time. Oh. And <laughs> when you're receiving an apology, be sensitive to all the five languages, not just your own. Even if someone isn't using your preferred apology language, they may be quite sincere using their own. So just listen for it. So in summary, yeah, apology is a lovely perfume. It can transform the frankest moment into a gracious gift. Oh. In summary, five languages are, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Please forgive me. I've tried not to do it again. What can I do to make it right?